Recently, a Richmond, Virginia woman, Linda Brooks, received a disturbing note from her son's preschool teacher. So she posted the letter on her webpage. It goes like this. Dear parents, I have received word from Federal Programs Preschool pertaining to lunches from home. Parents are to be informed that students can only bring lunches from home if there is a medical condition meriting a specific diet, along with a physician's note to that regard. I am sorry for any inconvenience. If you have any questions concerning this matter, please contact the health coordinator for federal programs. Ms. Brooks says on her website, my2crazycurls.com, it hurts me as a mother that it's federal funded and it's all about the money. Sounds like she's onto something. But what exactly is Federal Programs Preschool? It sounds like such a strange name, but here it is on a Memorandum of Understanding with the Henrico County Public Schools. That's in the Richmond, Virginia area. And here's a name that's familiar, Head Start. This is not the first time Head Start has been linked to this policy. Aside from a power grab, what does this mean for nutrition? True, some parents send lunches like this to school that aren't much different from the GMO, pesticide, preservative, hormone-laden stuff they serve at the cafeteria. But those aren't the ones who have a problem with this. It's conscientious parents concerned for their children's long-term health. Maybe it's time to take a stand. These parents can defy the power and money-hungry bureaucrats, or better yet, enjoy the blessing of homeschool. This is Steve Eastman reporting.